Okay, now, I have something I'd like to say that we, the collective we, don't like to admit in any sort of real way. Yeah, yeah, we think, sure, it'll happen or whatever, but not like today or tomorrow, years down the line. I got plenty of time, only we might not. Despite our best efforts to immortalize ourselves and procreate, there's still currently a 100% mortality rate, and we can rally against it, beg, borrow, and steal not to grow old. We can ignore it completely and fight what we're told, but no matter what we do, no matter what we try, the odds are against living forever. One day, we're all going to die. <laughs> Our best friends, our mother, our father, our sons and daughters, our lovers will return back to the earth from which we all came. Death comes for us all equally the same, regardless of race, religion, or sex. It might take 50 years or we could be next, but the truth of it is, most of us think it won't happen to us. In our ego-driven, self-centered state, we clutch to the ridiculously, falsely constructed faith that we will somehow live indefinitely. We're simply too uncomfortable to rationalize anything else. We shun aging, wanting to hold fast to youth. We shun death, wanting to deny the truth that one day, without our consent, everything will change in one unexpected moment when someone we love dies. And so we grieve, not only for the loss, but because our tear-ridden eyes are forced open to the frailty of life we've invested so much time denying when we could see that our days are filled with both elements of living and dying, depending on one another like the sun and the moon. We could relax into our in and out breath and soon release the detrimental notions we have about life, old age, and death. We will all pass on one day. There's little telling when. And no guarantee, there's no guarantee that we will see old age, my friend.